Hey, what's up everybody? Today I'm going to show you on how you can recreate the squeaky synth from the track Closer by Nine Inch Nails. If you want the notes, I'll leave the download link for the MIDI file in the description. Anyways, let's have a listen to what we're going to recreate today. So yeah, the first thing we're going to do is open up Serum, so let's do that. What we have to do now is head to Oscillator A, click on Default, go to Analog and select Basic underscore MDC. What we have to do then is increase the Unison to 4 and decrease the Detune to about 0.11. Afterwards, you have to increase the WT position to 130. What you have to do then uh, is increase the fine tune to 50. We're now going to head to the envelope one, and what we have to what we're going to have to do is increase the attack to 500 milliseconds and the release 900 milliseconds. You can edit the value manually by just double clicking and enter entering your value. So now what we have to do is head to the LFO one shape. And what you're going to have to do is just increase the array to 1 16th. And now we're going to have to mess with the shape a bit. What you have to do now is just click on one of the corner dots and bring them to the middle like this and then we're going to have to drag the top point to down down like this so the shape should look like this what you have to do now is increase uh, sorry is to drag the lfo shape to the course and then we have to head to the matrix page and decrease the amount to three like that what you have to do next is Head to the effects page. And we're going to have to enable the compressor and reverb. For the compressor, you only have to enable the multiband option and that's it. For the reverb, you're going to have to decrease the size to about um, around 17%. And when it comes to the mix, you just have to increase it to 48% like that. So this is how it should sound for now. So it sounds good, but we have to make it more distorted and lo-fi by adding a few effects. And the effect that we're going to use is the retro color. So let's open that up. And what we have to do is change the preset to Flutter Vibes, which you will find here. Click on OK. And what you have to do is increase the rate slightly to about 0.3 hertz. And also make sure you decrease the mix a bit to about 30% as well. When it comes to the distortion, make sure you decrease it to about uh, 45% like that. And yeah, the next thing that we're going to have to do is do a slight bit of EQing. It's very simple. Just open up your DAWs EQ. And what you have to do is just uh, click on the uh, click on this uh, shelf here and we're just going to have to cut it. So what you have to do is just make sure this is 24 decibels and decrease it to about 4,800 hertz. And yeah, this is how it should sound. Okay, sounds really good. Now the last thing that we have to do is just make sure we create a copy of this track. So just right click and press new track with duplicate settings or whatever is the equivalent on your DAW. And I'm just gonna change the name of this track just to make it a bit more tidier. And what I'm going to do now is just also drag the MIDI file. 
and yeah so basically this track here is like that high-pitched note that well if you have listened to the song you'll know what i'm talking about but basically it just needs slight adjustments on its own to make it more noticeable but yeah so what we're going to have to do is yeah just open up the synth and as you can see it's going to have the same settings as the chord synth we just have to change a few things so when it goes to, when you go to the envelope one you have to decrease the attack to 250 milliseconds and make sure that the release is 24 milliseconds then what we have to do is just right click on the lfo shape and click remove all destinations and yeah that is it when it comes to serum now we just going to have to do slight adjustments again to the eq so let's open that up and the only thing that we're going to have to do is just increase uh, uh, these frequencies here to 5800 and yeah that should be it let's have a listen Okay, so that is it. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to leave a comment down below. And yeah, if there's a sound you'd like me to uh, rec recreate, then leave a suggestion in the comments down below. And thanks for watching.